Caldera, Cal, Caldera, 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 Caldera. Oh, I've been through it this morning. It's one of those words that when you get to it, you use it, well, never. So when you get to the pronunciation, how do we do that one again? Caldera, Caldera, Caldera. Oh, go ask the lady on YouTube. She does it very nicely three times in a row. Now, if you want to use a form with a lot more ability, then of course there are quite a number of, of forms out there. And you've probably tried quite a number of them. Um, well, we, we talked about uh, what is it? Contact Form 7, but that's a free one and it doesn't have a nice drag and drop feature. But Caldera Forms is a drag and drop form builder with a lot of functionality. With that comes a free version, but also a pro version. So often when I want to build a sophisticated form, I run into the situation where everything that I want because it's a sophisticated form falls within the pro subscription plan. But those are just one of those things. Not everything in life is free. Now, if you look on Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor's website and you look at the Caldera Form Styler, the word is Styler. And all these widgets, I think they've got about three of them. We have the Caldera Form Styler, Gravity Form Styler, and then the Contact Form 7. And that's what they do. They style the form. They don't build it for you. They don't make fancy stuff for it. But they help you to give the form that little panache that you need to make it fit onto your website. And here is an example. You will think, well, that's a form, so, so what? Well, the problem is, if you have a form like I have here in Caldera, and you go onto your website and you use the short code, which I just want to copy here quickly, copy, and then you look for the short code, you drag it into Elementor, and then paste your short code over here then you're going to run into significant problems because it's going to look like this and you're not able to style it so it can match the fonts and the color and the look of your site. So you go and search for Caldera Forms and when you do that, you will also see that there is a WordPress plugin for it already in Elementor. And unfortunately, you're going to run into the same problem with this. No styling options. It's going to make it look exactly the same like the previous one. Thanks to Asterix and Oblix for exactly. Then, now we go to Caldera Form Styler from Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. You drag it and drop it. And then the first thing on the left, you have to select that form. So this is a job application for drawing between the lines. Well, first look is it looks different than the previous two that we loaded. And this is already because there's some styling applied to it, like padding. And everything else, though it is under content, is actually styling. You're not adding content. So this is technically incorrect. It should all be under styling because that's what you are doing. You are styling. So first of all, you have loaded the form that you want to use. And then you start playing around with your form fields. For example, if you want to change the background color and then the label color, which is the these guys here at the top. And then your input text color. Let's make that darker because I think that's a gray scale. Let's make it black. And this is your input text color over here doctor color and then your field description color so if you have a little pop-up here that describes your field you can change that over here you can see this one here please upload your cv in pdf format let's make that a brighter color there we go uh required asterisk color this little star star over here twinkle twinkle all right you can change that one and then you can change your border width and also you have your border color let's make the border color white so it can stand down and we don't really see it let's just make it another and then when you click within it like if you want to type your message over here what will be your border active color so let's click on it and i see it gets the black border as ugly as sin but again just to show you what you can do with the form styler what i like to do though is first of all the padding if you look here at the field size the height applied here it's at small and you would think it why it doesn't look small 
And that's because there is a default padding applied, which I don't like. And to show you that, I'm going to type in zero and you see how that reduces the size of those fields. Of course, that is also not what you want. You may think then let's go and make it large. But the problem is, as you make it larger, the font and the placeholder text also increases. There is still no space around your input. So I'm going to leave it on small, but I'm going to apply well, let's start with five and that already looks better, but I want to just give it that little extra. So I'm going to increase it. And then at six, seven, I'm happy. You know, strange thing, whenever you are building something, numbers like six, seven, eight and nine bother us. We always want to go from five to 10, uh, but you know, this isn't a precise science, right? We have to go for that six or that seven sometimes. So I was playing around with it and I found it on seven. It worked for me and I liked that. So then the entire thing here about the form fields, about the radio and check boxes, if it includes this one does not include it. Um, your submit button again here, we can change our background color for our submit button. Let's make it black so you can see it. All of this is about styling your font color, uh, your spacing, not even your spacing. That's on the next one. And then you have your success and error message and then the helpful information for extra information if you need documentation on this widget from ultimate add-ons for Elementor. There is under styling still some options, which I said it's actually very technically incorrect because all of this should be under styling. You have the space between the two fields, which means between this field and this field. So you space them wider apart. I'm going to drag them a little bit closer than the default. That looks better. And then the label bottom spacing between title and your field, right? Also looks weird. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. And then description tops spacing here. You see, if you have a description, how much space does that apply at the top? Okay, there we go. And then you have your topography settings, making sure that everything is the same. I'm having this on Nonito. And I think that's good enough. We don't need to play with it. Let's see if I just give it a little bit more of, yes, I like a little bit more spacing between my letters. And then the input text holder, that's the one over there. I'm gonna leave it. Field description, which we don't have at the moment, but we'll put all of these probably on Nunito. Let's put our button also on Nunito. Caldera, Caldera, Caldera. Just to say it a few times, feel good about yourself. Ah, let's give that one also. A uh, spacing of one and let's make it just uppercase. Good. And that is the whole part of these form styling widgets is that you're not going to be able to change the content. You're not going to be able to change the layout. For example, you're not going to be able within this form to say title. I only want 50% and my first name here on 50% of the width of this, but I can style the topography, I can style the colors. And essentially what you are doing here is CCS because if you have yellow pencil or CSS hero, I said CCS, right? CSS. Uh, if you have CSS hero, then you will know that these are things that before we had these widgets that we would use those plugins to come in and style it. And if you've been a long, long old veteran in the game, you probably have all those plugins because we needed them at some point. You know, uh, CSS Hero is still stable for many people, just like Yellow Pencil and other stylers. But slowly the page builders and the site builders are bringing in these things that you can take control over it. So at the end of the day, it's purely a styling option that will give you uh, control over the lay uh, the spacing, um, the text and the color. And that's it. Well, hope you have a very nice day. Goodbye here from JP at Websites for Beginners.